To replace the starter in E46 M3, you're first going to need to remove the airbox. If you need to see that, just refer to the other video in the video link. We're going to move forward here. The starter is right back here. And to get to it, a lot of people choose to either lift the engine up or even pull the transmission all the way back and go under the car. We're going to show you an alternative method. The reason people often drop the transmission down or even pull the engine up is because it's near impossible to get to the starter bolts from the top. You can't use a traditional socket. You can't get it all the way without stripping it out. So what we can do is mod e modify an E12 wrench from Snap-on. And so what we did is just took a torch, heated it up so that we can get directly onto the bolt to break it loose. Then we can come in with just a 10 millimeter little stubby wrench to take it all the rest of the way off. What you're dealing with on the starter, one bolt and a lining dowel, and then on the other side, another bolt. So these are the ones you're gonna be breaking loose. So that's exactly how it sits in the engine and we're gonna go back and break those loose. We're gonna go for that top bolt. So we put our modified wrench in behind those hoses and we can see it's right on that bolt now so that we can break it loose. Now you can remove that wrench and use your stubby wrench to take it off. Now we're gonna go for the back bolt or the one on the bottom, a little harder to get to. We're going for the one on the underside. Yeah, it's on the subject. Should be able to get to it. We can't really give you a good visual. Move the flashlight. There it is. Now you can see it's on it. I'm gonna break it loose. It broke loose. Good. Stubby wrench. As so, we can take it the rest of the way off. With the bottom one out, you can go ahead and go after the top one. As you see, we got the wrench hooked up. Look at your starter bolts and you can see this is really chewed up. The starter's been cranked on before. Uh, that's because they used a regular socket. That's why you wanna get this special wrench. Again, XLE. 1012A. Unhook your throttle body control module. When that plug pops out, the way you can pull the starter. And there she is. When removing your starter, do your best to remove it like we did without using a hammer or a pry bar. Reason being is that you risk bending the alignment dowel or the face of the bell housing, which will result in a poor connection and alignment of your new starter. Off, you can go ahead and check your ring gear teeth before you mount the new one. And just give it a good general inspection. Hit the subscribe and notifications button for more Fat Boys Garage.